What's up guys, welcome back to Half Man Half Tech, my name is Ben, your host. So finally, when it comes to watchOS 8.6, I'll be happy to let you know that today we now have the release candidate version. This used to be known as the good GM or the golden master version, but now we have the update that has been released today. And this comes after one week and two days since the release of watchOS 8.6 beta 4 that we saw slightly over a week ago. And for me on my Apple Watch Series 7, you can actually see the update size and it comes in at exactly 108 megabytes and I was updating from 8.6 beta 4 now obviously this is not all that apple released today if we go to the apple developer page or to the apple beta page you'll be able to see some other updates that were released ios 15.5 rc ipad os 15.5 rc as well and also we have uh, mac os 12.4 rc and obviously watch os 8.6 rc now most of these updates i do cover here on the channel at halfman half tech so if you are interested in knowing what's new and what's changed and you want to keep up to date then definitely do consider subscribing down below so that you don't miss out on anything now this is my apple watch series 7 that you are seeing here and if we just go down to the notification section i want to show you the one that shows that i've updated my device so update is complete and now let's go ahead and see what are the software changes that came with this so if we go into uh, i was actually testing the battery before recording this if we go into settings and go to general and go to software update it's up to date and if we go to the about this watch section you'll actually be able to see the version and you can see it's 8.6 and the build number that comes with this update is 19t572 so that's the build number that i have at this time and basically one of the things that i noticed with this update is that i didn't have to update my ios device to the latest ios 15.5 rc in order to update so i could have updated my watch or rather i had the ability to update my watch first and my iphone second or later so some betas don't have that i don't know why there was an issue with doing that with other betas but this one seems to be quite smooth and the installation process was pretty quick and the rebooting was also smoothness so that's amazing and now let's talk about some of the new features and changes that i would like to highlight for you so the first one and main one that i would like to highlight for you has to do with the ecg app so uk canada usa and among other countries it have have always had ecg support for quite a number of time and basically the ecg is supported on the apple watch series 4 and newer and now for those that are in mexico or based in mexico i'll be happy to let you know that if you have the apple watch series 4 and newer you can now get the ecg app and be able to use its functions and features and also you'll be able to have uh, afib support or irregular heart rate notifications in mexico so this is something that had been in the works um, uh, it's something that has been delayed for about four or five years and i'm happy for mexico because i do have quite a number of subscribers here on the channel for mexico so this is something that's great and i wanted to bring your attention to uh something here on the ios device so this is something that you can always play with since you know you are experiencing ecg for the first time in mexico what you might want to do is go into your health app and then basically go to the browse section and you will see some of the uh sections that you have or subsections and if you go to heart you'll be able to see your information right you can see your heart rate and this is all thanks to the optical sensor that's uh, providing the ecg readings and if you want to read more about ecg you can basically go to electrocardiogram or ecg here and you will see some of the sinus 
rhythm sinus rhythm just basically means it's a normal recording and if you have like a poor recording your watch will actually send you a notification and if you have haptic feedback you, you know it will vibrate and send you the notification just like you get normal notifications and you if you want to know more you know about what this means sinus rhythm poor recording and so on you have the options here that um, give you education on ECG so how does ECG work you can read about it and see how you know it works best and how to make sure that your watch is um, actually tight enough for you to be able to get accurate readings and also some of the results you may see so we saw sinus rhythm so if you want to know what sinus rhythm is you can see it here if you want to know what AFib is if you want to know what low or high heart rate is then you can see the ranges here inconclusive results is also another thing and poor recordings like you saw from my um, uh, data is also something that you might come across and basically this section will give you more information on ecg and if you do want to share your results with someone you can see here in the health app we have this sharing section and if you click there you can see that you can uh, you have this health sharing and it's basically someone or a result or a study that you can share so you can choose for example a specific app that you want to share with someone for example your ecg result and you will see that uh, you have the ability to delete all your data from ECG or you have some of your readings and the dates and if you want to share this you can always go there and share this and uh, they'll be able to see the results this is something that you can also export as a pdf for your doctor or for your friends and now that it's supported in mexico hopefully you'll be able to make good use of this ecg app so that's how you're going to be doing it and if you have an apple watch series 4 and newer you can always open up the ecg app this is the ecg app that you see there and you have to connect your your finger like this and it will start basically the countdown and taking your readings and also something else that i wanted to highlight it's true that the apple watch series 3 does support watch os 8.6 however since it doesn't have the optical uh, sensor then it does not have the ecg feature enabled so for those that have the series 3 this is not something that you're going to see and also some of the features that are here since this is not final for you to get the full uh features and benefits you might need to update your device to the latest ios update ios 15.5 since some of the features are in the health app that's on the ios device and you'll be able to enjoy most of those health features and ecg features so that's something that i thought i should highlight for you when it comes to ecg now continuing with some of the benefits or changes and improvements i've noticed with this device the first one or after ecg that i would like to highlight has to do with the battery so i noticed that since watch os 8.6 beta 3 and beta 4 my battery performance improved significantly so this is like um, i was getting like a day and a half and with watch always 8.6 beta and beta 2 my battery life was really the worst so you can see for example here it was last charged to 100 percent about two hours ago i updated i did some research i looked for new changes and new features and so far i've used about eight percent so you can sort of see before i charged or updated my drop i don't have like a, a really steep drop and so far i've been experiencing good battery life with watch os 8.6 from the third beta up to now if it does change on the watch os 8.6 rc then i'll let you know on my twitter handle do follow me at halfman half tech so that you keep up to date and also the other thing i wanted to mention is that i haven't had is any issues when it comes to charging my device so hopefully if you were having issues with charging or your device was uh, not charging fast enough those issues are resolved for you so that's something that's amazing and i wanted to just highlight it for you also some of the other changes that we've always repeated since watch always 8.6 beta 1 have to do with the uh, apple wallet app 
and those have to do with changes to the apple card apple pay and so on and basically that's may most of the new features and changes that i've experienced with this watch os 8.6 rc i'm really happy for the ecg and in case you are curious we are now on a weekly release cycle from apple so last week we had a beta update this week we have a beta update and since it's a rc most probably next week between the 16 to the 19 we could see this watch always 8.6 release candidate being released to those that have the apple watch series 3 and newer and get to enjoy some of these new features and changes that's about it for me when it comes to this watch always 8.6 let me know what you think and if you have some new changes that you'd like to share down below please do and stay safe and i'll see you in the next video peace